crypto traders this video is specifically being made for you because we are going to show you how to use the TradingView platform whether you're a pro or a new trader in everything you have access to. The first thing we want to show you when you come to the chart is how to get the cryptocurrencies that you want to see on your chart and some advanced tips for you as you become more proficient with markets. So the symbol search is up here at the top left. You can see our mouse. Once you click this symbol search, suddenly the search box will open and this is where everything really begins. So the first thing we want to tell you is that you can type in the cryptocurrency symbol of your choice and it will appear here. Next up, we want you to know that there are some specific filtering options to you. And this is very important to know because right now we have all selected, but perhaps you only want to view stocks that mention the term crypto if there's even any out there you can do that or maybe you're looking for just funds perhaps there's some futures and it turns out let's see turns out there's no futures that mention the term crypto or maybe forex or this right here is what the video is all about how about filtering only for crypto that means everything we type in the search now will be specifically for the crypto universe. But recall, you can move your way down this list to find different asset classes that have to do with cryptocurrency. Perhaps you're even looking into the global economy to see what's going on. The choice is yours, but let's focus on crypto because now we are only searching for cryptocurrencies. Before we select one of the many cryptocurrencies that we can access from this menu, let us show you one more tip, which is rather advanced, but incredibly helpful for you to start trying right now. You have filters that you can add to this search, such as filtering specifically for the exchange or data point of your need. There are two reasons why you want to use this. Let's say, for example, you are on a exchange like Coinbase. Well, that means you probably only want to chart Coinbase listed cryptocurrencies. That way, if you're trading on Coinbase, you have got it matched up directly to the symbol of your choice on TradingView as well. Or maybe you have a connected broker on TradingView with one of the many connected brokerages that you can access. And actually, we're just going to demonstrate this to you here. There's Gemini, there's Bitstamp, there's TradeStation, and many more here for you to gain access to specifically for your crypto currency trading needs. But the point is that once you have the symbol search open, you have these filters to make additional research decisions. One that's really important is all types. So if you only want to chart spot cryptocurrencies, well, make sure you have spot selected. If you only want to chart swap futures or index, make sure you have one of those selected. There's one more important component here, and this is perhaps a more advanced tip to Tip, but it's just so incredibly important is that you can also select fundamental. Now, this is a way for you to gain access to fundamental metrics into cryptocurrencies and pay close attention that you can always see the source where the data is coming from. You've got Glassnode here. You've got Into the Block here. You've got DeFi Llama, and you can scroll down and see all of these fundamental metrics. Well, why don't we just go ahead and do USDT circulating supply, which is a pretty cool metric to observe the total circulating supply of USDT. So this is all possible once you become very good at using the symbol search. And of course, there's exchange types as well, centralized exchange, decentralized exchange as well. Let's go ahead and actually go back to, uh, let's just, let's do AVAX. And let's select AVAX US dollar. But keep in mind for a second here that as we select that symbol, that you may have noticed another cool thing about the symbol search and how it relates to TradingView. And that is that oftentimes there are unique symbols specifically provided by TradingView, such as AVAX, which is the market cap of AVAX. That means now we're just charting literally the market cap of this cryptocurrency in real time. And that really does work for all symbols as well. If we type in just BTC, check it out. Data right from TradingView, 
BTC. So the symbol search for crypto is incredibly powerful once you get good at it. Start to explore all the options, whether it's the filters or the specific asset classes or finding even symbols like total, which is total crypto market cap. That's right. You can chart the total market cap of all cryptocurrencies combined into one asset which currently stands at two and a half trillion at the time of this video. So now that we've shown you the symbol search, there's no doubt that you know what to do next and how to get started. But from here, we want to show you two other key things about the chart that specifically applies to you, the cryptocurrency investor or trader. Recall that all of our other videos, whether you want to learn how to use drawing tools, or if you want to learn how to use the brush tool, or if you want to learn how to use alerts, well, we've got countless videos on our YouTube channel and on our help center that you should go explore. But because this video is specifically for crypto traders and investors, we want to show you the next relevant feature, which is making sure you understand your indicators, metrics, and strategies menu. Now, you can, of course, access technical indicators, and this is often important because crypto does trade on technicals quite a bit, especially with trading volume. So you can access all of these built-in indicators. You've got strategies, you've got profiles, you've got patterns. So these are automatic chart patterns that you can add to your chart with a click or automatic candlestick patterns or access these volume profiles. But where things get really interesting for cryptocurrency traders like yourself is the community button. That's because these are custom coded scripts for all markets, but there are specific scripts only for cryptocurrencies. So check this out. If we type in blockchain, for example, what we are going to see are all of the blockchain scripts that have been coded by traders around the world, specifically for members of TradingView. So this one was selected to editor's picks. That's what the EP means. We see the author. We see how many boosts it likes, and likes it got. We can access the source code. We can read more about it or we can just click it to have it added to our chart. And this exact script is called Blockchain Fundamentals Active Address Sentiment Oscillator. That is pretty cool. And if we go ahead and click the source code, this coder has given us access, open source to his unique code, including the data that's coming in and how it's plotted and the color scheme it has as well. And we can fact check this to see if it matches up what we're looking for. So if you start to master the indicators, metrics, and strategies menu, not only from a traditional technical standpoint, but also a community standpoint, you're really going to get some fantastic resources for your research. And more important, as you get better, you can just make your own indicators as well with the Pine Editor. Now that we've shown you the symbol search, how to get started on your charts, and the indicators, menu, including PineScript in the community indicator section, the third and final concept that we want to make sure you know as a cryptocurrency trader is your watch list details and news menu. That's because there are some features in here that are only specific to cryptocurrencies. Now, first of all, you can see we have already made a watch list here for ourselves. We've got some specific sections already mapped out. We're just going to open these sections up. And at the bottom here, you can see as well, it says crypto L1s. So we've got some cryptos here that we can click through. And pay attention that as you build your watch list to your needs, you can click through them just as we are. And look how quickly the chart updates. So if you do your research and the hard work to filter through our symbol search, then add those symbols to your watch list. You'll never have to do that research again because you can just come back to your watch list to access that data. So that's why this is a an, an very important feature for all cryptocurrency traders is because all of the hard work you do can be saved right here in your watch list. Every symbol that you've ever wanted to chart in the cryptocurrency universe. Keep in mind, you can right click anywhere in this area, add specific color coordinations to those symbols, as well as many other options, including, of course, adding a symbol to your watch list. There's also a plus button. Click that, type in the cryptocurrency of your choice. You can see the plus here, add this to your watch list. So there are a number of ways to build your watch list, but now let's go to the details menu, which by the way, it can be dragged and customized as needed. If you need more width or less width, choice is yours. So you can see here that once you open the details menu, you're going to get live price data, price range, 
52 week range. But perhaps even more importantly, is this news feature and key stats. So if you click this news feature, you now can access news about this specific cryptocurrency. This right here is, after all, sometimes what moves markets, or it tells you what's happening, what's relevant, what symbols are being discussed about. You can get cryptocurrency news right from this details menu by clicking this news button here and then opening up the full feed. You could also access ideas or minds if you're looking for social features. Now here's where the details menu also gets quite powerful. And this only really applies to cryptocurrencies. That's why we're showing it to you is you have key stats here as well. Volume, average volume, trading volume, market capitalization. You can see circulating supply. These are some unique stats specifically to cryptocurrencies that define how much trading is going on in this cryptocurrency. Moving our mouse down, we can see the performance metrics and how they've performed over time. And going a little further down, we've got technicals. And then one really cool section here called profile. This is specific to cryptocurrencies. If you wanted to read the white paper for this cryptocurrency, you've got a helpful link right here. If you wanted to go see the source code on GitHub, you've got a helpful link right here or the project's website as well. So that is the third and final aspect that we want to show cryptocurrency traders on how they can get started on TradingView and keep in mind that if you're interested in any other aspect that you see in this video or you can see on the chart, remember that our Help Center has articles and videos for all of these topics. So if you want to learn more about alerts, go check that out. Make sure you check out our YouTube channel, check out our Help Center, or subscribe to us. And of course, if you want to learn about the object tree or the social features, you can do the same as well. Now, the next thing we do want to do is go to our homepage because when it comes to cryptocurrencies, there is a much more than just these super charts. In fact, see our mouse here. We're going to go hover over the products tab, then go to screeners. And what you'll immediately notice is we have a crypto pairs screener, a crypto coin screener, and a crypto heat map. We're going to start with the crypto heat map and then work our way up to coins and pairs. Let's go to hit heat map. Now, here we are, ladies and gentlemen, on the crypto coins heat map, and it's just what it sounds like. We have now have a bird's eye view of all the coins that are being tracked on TradingView and their performance. And we have the capability to adjust this depending on what we want to see. If you want to see all coins on a heat map over the last hour, you can do that. If you want to see all coins over the last year, you can do that. The choice is ultimately yours. How about year to date? You could see every coin year to date. Now, recall that it is, it is important to know how this heat map is set up. We've got plenty of videos for you about that as well on our YouTube page, but we'll walk you through a few quick reminders, which is size by market cap. So each square here or rectangle is sized based on the market cap of the coin. The bigger that the, that the coin is, the larger the market cap. The smaller the coin is, the smaller the market cap. So you get some sort of relative feel to how large Bitcoin is and its performance compared to everything else. And of course, you can change that fully diluted market cap. You could do volume in dollars. You could do total value locked and much, much more. For now, we're going to stay in market cap. Also, keep in mind that you can change your source. So Bitcoin is rather large here, and perhaps it's just sort of blocking some of the other symbols we want to see on the heat map. So let's go ahead and exclude Bitcoin. And now we can see a bit more because the whole heat map has shifted and resized. So you have the capability as well to create something for yourself just like this. And you should really go explore all of the features that you have because you can make a cryptocurrency heat map that fits your exact specific needs, including even once you do make that perfect heat map, the capability to share it anywhere across the web. Okay, moving on to the screeners component of TradingView, especially if you are a cryptocurrency trader looking for that next great trade, we are going to show you the crypto pair screener and the crypto coin screener. First, let's go to the crypto coin screener. 
Now, the crypto coin screener is going to show you stats about all of the coins being tracked on TradingView. But these are not pairs. So you're not going to see BTC US dollar, BTC EUR, BTC JPY. These are just the coins themselves. In fact, you can see that illustrated here where it says 764 coins. Now, the rank is showing you the rank of that coin on this list. And if you'd like, you can even see the market cap, the percentage change, and you can sort all of these columns here or add your own. This plus sign allows you to add a column. Now, we've got quite a few videos about this crypto coin screener on our YouTube channel. Go check those out as well or read our help center. But we're trying to show you here how to get started as a cryptocurrency trader on TradingView. And if you'd like to access key market data from here, you can. You can even get fundamental data, for example, addresses with balance. So now what you have is the capability to see these 764 coins. We've got addresses with balance. And if we'd like, why don't we simplify this a little? And let's even drag this over here next to market cap. And why don't we just sort from here so we can see the addresses with a balance and the market cap and really start to gain some fairly interesting details by sorting through this. You've got some quick pick options up here at the top if you wanted to track performance. And here are your filtering mechanics whereby you can filter this list down based on specific stats. So if you want to see all crypto coins just with 10 million US dollars traded over a 24 hour period, go ahead and click that. You can see it's filtered the coins from 700 plus to 419. Now, moving on, we want to take you to the crypto pairs screener, which is different from the crypto coin screener. And you'll see that right away because this screener shows over 46,000 matches. That's because it is showing you every possible traded pair in the crypto universe. And you can just start to think of all the permutations that's possible in that case, whether it's on a decentralized exchange or a centralized exchange. Similar to the crypto coin screener, you can create your own custom ways to filter this down. We've even got some helpful filters up here to get you started if you're looking to filter by specific options. And then naturally, there is a blue button that says filters, gives you that option too actually create quite literally your own custom filter to narrow down your search even more. You can actually see this change in real time that we went from over 46,000 crypto pairs to 8,500. Let's drag this again and let's see how, how narrow we can make this. We're now down to 4,300 crypto pairs. So the crypto pair screener is going to be an important tool if you are trading complex instruments or in specific currencies or on a decentralized exchange. You can make all of the filters you need across the whole universe spanning thousands of symbols. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we have now shown you the key aspects of using TradingView as a cryptocurrency investor or trader. And there is one final component for you to really end on, which is the markets button at the top and your ability to go to the crypto asset, click once, end up on the crypto market page. And if you scroll down, this is where you will find social ideas. There are real traders and investors on TradingView sharing ideas daily about crypto markets. You can read their ideas here what their next great trade is, and more. Comment on it, like it, anything. You can quickly interact with them as well. You can get some community trends, market cap rankings, gainers and losers, top stories, all news, and much, much more. So to everyone who has stuck around for this entire video, we appreciate that you have just learned something new. Please write it in the comments below if you are looking to gain some more insights into another feature or if you have specific feedback for us. That's also very important. We read everyone's feedback on these videos and oftentimes we will build with your feedback in mind. 